Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you could use Mail Merge to customize letters. Why would you possibly wanna use Mail Merge with letters and what does that even mean? Well, imagine that Christmas is coming up and you wanna send all of your friends and family a letter. Well, what you'd probably wanna do is you wanna customize the greeting. You probably wanna use their first name in the letter. Uh, just to make it seem more personal. Otherwise, your family might say, hey, like, who's this person just sending me a generic message? You could use it in many other examples as well. Christmas letters is just one example. Let's say that you're a utility company or let's say that you're anyone else who wants to send out customized letters. Mail Merge enables you to do that. And now as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. So why don't we jump to it and I'll show you how you could do a mail merge. Here I am on my PC and I'm gonna be using Word that comes with Office 365, so this is the latest and greatest, but even if you have an older version, let's say 2019, 2016, 2013, any other version, Mail Merge has been around for a while and you should be able to follow along. What I did is I just clicked into a blank document and where we wanna go is the mailings pivot. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on mailings up on top here. And what we wanna do is, the one that sounds most promising is start mail merge. So let's get started here. And what I wanna use is the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. That's by far the easiest way to do a merge. So let's go ahead and click on that. And today what I wanna do, what type of document are you working on? Well, we're working on a letter. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on letter. Um, and then we're gonna click on uh, start. Let's go ahead. And I'm gonna actually select from a template. Now let's say that you were writing a letter, you could just go ahead and click on this use current document, or you could even just select from an existing document. But in this case, I don't have one, so I'm just gonna select a template. And let's click on the letters tab, and I'm just gonna go with a, let's go with, let's say this one. This looks like a good template. And so there it is, it inserted this template into the document, and now let's select the recipients. Now, what I've done ahead of time is I have this Excel spreadsheet, and I have all these names, so I have first name, last name, I have their address, the city, the state, and the zip code. So I have all this information in an Excel sheet, and there are a lot of people in this Excel sheet. Uh, so I don't wanna have to go through letter by letter and have to type in each name. That would be a pretty big burden to have to do that. Um, so I'm glad I have this list and I could customize my letter based on this information in this sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize uh, Excel and let me go through now and uh, let's just see here. It says, uh, you, so I have the option of using an existing list. Why well, have an existing list in the Excel sheet? I could also select from Outlook contacts or I could type in a new list. But in this case, I already have a list and I'm gonna go just browse and select the list uh, that I just showed you. Um, so here's my list and we're gonna select that. Um, it says sheet one. Uh, that's what I have here, that's sheet one. And the other thing is it says first row of data contains column headers. Well, if I look in my Excel sheet and I go to the top, of the sheet, these are my column headers here. So I have column headers, that looks good. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK. And so what it does now is it uh, shows me all of the mail merge recipients. So this matches what I had in my Excel sheet. And what's kind of nice is I could go through now, I could sort the list, I could even filter the list. You know, Maybe I only wanna send to, let's say my family who lives in New Jersey. And then I could even say, and maybe specifically in this city. Um, but I don't wanna do that for now, but you do have the ability to filter and you also have the ability to sort your list. Uh, and you could also find individual recipients, you can validate your addresses. So quite a bit of rich functionality um, of what you can do here. Um, but in this case, I wanna send it to everyone. So let's just click on okay. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and write the letter. So let's go on to step four of the process. And it says now write your letter. Okay, so let me insert the date here. Today's October 6th. Um, and then here it wants me to enter my company name and my company address. I'm not gonna have a company name, uh, but I'll just type in my address. So 12132 Main Street, and we'll say I'm in Redmond, Washington, the home to Microsoft. Um, and then now it says type the recipient name. So what I wanna do is the re I have the recipient name in my spreadsheet. How do I get it into here? Well, here I can add information. And so what's kind of neat is um, if I click on more items down here, I'll go ahead and click that. Now I could insert items from my Excel spreadsheet. And so all of these fields are based on my headers in Excel. Remember, I have first name, last name, street address, so on and so forth. And so here I'll start with maybe the first name and then uh, I'll put in the last name. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and close that for now. And I wanna make sure I insert a space between these. So you'll see this is a placeholder for the first name and this is a placeholder for the last name. Now it says type the recipient address and I'm gonna go ahead and click on address block. Um, and it actually looks like it includes a name in there as well. So I could have just done this instead of inserting the name on my own. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, and let's just click on okay. And then I'll just remove the first name and last name. So I just have my address block there. And so it says type the salutation. So maybe I'll say dear. And then what I could do is I could go back to this more items and I could insert the first name. And then I'll put in a comma after the first name. Then I have all my text body and then I'll have my closing and maybe I say regards. And I'll just remove these two down here for now. And so what I could do now is uh, I've customized the letter. You know, I, I have the person's name in there. I have the person's address in there. And so now let's go ahead and click on preview your letter. So let me go ahead and click on that. Um, and so here, you know, I have my, you, you see my information and here's Bob Jones. And um, I could also click on this to preview the results right up here. Um, and what I could do is if I click on this little arrow, that'll bring me to the next record. Um, so basically the next row in my Excel spreadsheet. So I'll click on that. And so you'll see how the address updates to the individual who, you know, the row is on and you'll see that it inserts their name right up in there. And so I could go through all my records and. Let's see how it looks. So this is great. It's customized my letter to each individual. I don't have to go through one by one and insert the address or insert the name. It, it basically does it for me. Uh, but this looks fantastic. And uh, now I'm gonna click on uh, complete the merge. And so by completing the merge, what that, what that allows me to do is I could either edit individual letters, so that'll just give me a Word document with each individual letter, or what I could do is I could click on print and by clicking on print, this will simply uh, print out all 50 something letters that I have. So I'll go ahead and let's click on the print button. And I could print everything or I could only print, you know, a certain number of records. So just for this example, I'm gonna print just, let's say uh, two of them, just, just to do an example. I'm gonna click on okay. And I'm just gonna print to PDF just to demonstrate how this works. Uh, but you could also select your printer on there and then print all the letters. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And now I have to choose what I wanna save it as. So I'm just gonna say test. And so what it did now is it, it printed them out. So let's go ahead and I'll click into this PDF that I just printed. And what you'll see is here's my, the first letter that's customized to Bob. And then if I scroll down farther, now I see my second letter customized for Rosamond. Uh, but that's, that's really how easy it is to uh, do a mail merge to be able to customize letters. It's super easy if you're using Word, if you're using Excel that has your list of contacts, you could customize your letter. And keep in mind, it, it's not just limited to names or addresses. You could put all sorts of other information in your Excel spreadsheet. So thinking back to the example of maybe, a, a, let's say a Christmas letter that you wanna send out, maybe you include the person's kid's name. So you could ask the question, how is, you know, Samantha and Nancy, how are they doing? And so you could make it seem like you really customize the letter uh, fully for each individual who you're sending to it, um, sending that letter to, and your family will probably be really impressed. They'll think, wow, how do you have so much time to write these customized letters? Anyway, hope, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you found value, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other topics that you want me to cover in the future, leave a comment down below. I'll take a look and I'll add it to my list of videos to make. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.